decided to just use computer class or my computer lessons. Hi, my name is Kirsten. Subscribe to Justice Computing Class for more computing lessons. Hi guys, welcome to Justice Computing Class. My name is Justice Joseph Kofi Kabe. I hope you are all doing well and preparing well for your exams. Today, I come your way with a practical question that I want us to go through and see if we can understand something. If you don't understand, just leave your comments under the comment section below or you chat me on the number you see on your screen. So today, I have a practical question. That's the practical question, question one. That is a general compulsory question that we always um, have to attempt before we move on to the general knowledge. So today, I would like to take you through the questions. So please, if today is your first time of watching, please kindly subscribe to my channel and also press the, uh, the notification bell. So anytime I upload questions or videos like this, you will be notified. Thank you so much and stay tuned. We'll be right back. So welcome back so now first question that we have here which is a practical question the first question is draw the title bar and label the four major parts draw the title bar and label the four major parts as you can see on your screen that is a drawing of the title bar and you know the title bar has four major parts which is the program icon and then we have the program name and we have the document name and the last one we have the control box are we okay the use of the title bar it displays the name of the application you use and also displays sorry it displays the name of the program are we okay that's the title bar so i repeat again these are the parts of the title bar. the four major parts of the title bar we have the program icon the program name the document name and we have the control box and the use of the title bar is it displays the name of the application you use or you can also say that it displays the name of the document. Please have you okay. Good. And let's move on to the next question. Study the diagram below carefully and answer the questions that follows. Study the diagram below carefully and answer the questions that follows. The first question over there is name the path label A to J. Name the path label A to J. Beautiful. So now the path label A is the system fan. As you can see, the path label A is the system fan and part label b is floppy disk even though it's not too clear please pay, pay attention and uh, try as much as possible to go and check or look for pictures that are close to the answers i'm giving you floppy disk then the part label b part label part label c is the heat sink part label c is a heat sink part label uh, d part label d as you can see is the hard disk part label d is the hard disk or disk drive then part label e is the power supply unit the power supply unit part label okay part label f is the motherboard part label f is the motherboard part label f is the motherboard then part label g is the central processing unit part label g is the central processing unit then part label um part label uh, uh, h the optical drive part label h is the optical drive part label h is the optical drive and part label i is the random access memory and part label j is the system unit Part label J is the system unit. Please, I believe you get it correct. Please, the pictures are not too clear for you. Try as much as possible to uh, follow up by searching on those various names to get a clear picture of how those images look like. Now, let's go to the next question, which is the last question of the practical question. It said, state the function of the part label D, F, G, and J. Part label D, F, G, and H, and J. Now, part label D... As we all know, is the hard disk. So please pay attention. Is the hard disk? The hard disk is the main storage area that stores all files and documents in the computer system. The hard disk is the main storage area that stores all files and documents in the computer system. So that's for the hard disk. Then part label F. Part label F, as we all know, is the motherboard. 
the motherboard. The motherboard is the main circuit board that connects all components of the uh, system in it. It's the main circuit board that connects all the components on the system unit. Then we have part level gene. Part level gene. Part level gene is the central processing unit. The central processing, another name for central processing is what? Processor. Another name for central processing unit is the processor. So processor uh, is a device that controls and processes all data that is fed into the computer or entered into the computer. Processes all the data that is fed into the computer. That's the use of the central processing unit or the CPU. Good. The next one is the which is the last one is the J, which is the system unit. The system unit is the hardware device which contains all the major processing and storage component. The system unit is the hardware device which contains all the major processing and storage component. Please, I hope you understand. So this is a very simple and a short practical question that came in one of our mocks. So please kindly pay attention, kindly revise and prepare towards your exam. Thank you so much for watching and please if today is your first time of watching me and if you're watching me and you've not subscribed, please try as much as possible to subscribe because we have more for you. Thank you and see you in our next practical question. Bye-bye.